What's up guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and today I actually got back home from doing a bunch of shoots and uh, when I got home I ended up getting a package in the mail so <laughs> the other week I reached out to Jordan who is the owner of High Wind and um, you know I was just like yo I absolutely am in love with your picks so how many picks do you have? And he's like, how many picks do you need? So I ended up buying a hundred picks from him. And uh, literally, where is it? Ah, do I have it in my pocket? I was just playing with it a little while ago. Um, so I have a package from Jordan that I'm going to open. Uh, oh shit, what the hell is that? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so I almost, <laughs> I almost scissored the heck out of this t-shirt. Jordan, you are the man. High wind, amplification. All right, I'm gonna get a little naked for a second. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Damn you, I said wrong with you all right ah uh, gotta rep the high wind now hell yeah Jordan you are the man uh, but there's more uh, in this package so okay there's a box um, and this probably oh Got my picks, but there's something else in the package. We gotta find out what this is. Ah, that is awesome. Ah, ah, picks, picks. Yo, dude, that's a mess on the floor. Yo, legit, these are the best picks ever. Yo, and if you watched one of my videos where I was like, yo, the best pick, is the Swiss cheese? What is it? Is it what? Swiss? Is it Swiss cheese? Right? Is that what it is? Uh, yo, yo, there must be like sixty picks on the floor right now. Okay, um, so <laughs> all right, that's me being silly. All right, so let me put this here, and then I have a pedal. Yellow. All right. So this is the pedal that he sent. Output, right? Output, girth, and gain. So gain, girth, output. So that's going to be volume. And then there's one, two, three on the toggle. All right, I'm going to put this on pause. I need to do a little research and, uh, and figure out what this is. <laughs> Hold on. What's it say on this side? Spiral. Spiral? Spinal? Spiral? Okay. Give me one second. Let me do a little research. So as I am turning on my MacBook Air right behind me, you know, I'm picking up all these picks. And look at this guy. So this is a super pointy pick. Same by High Wind. And it's thicker. So I got to play with this guy. See how that is. Oh, wow. Look, it tapers down. Can you see that? From thick to thin. And it's at least double the width of this one. He had mentioned this one. But uh, it's funny. As I'm looking on the ground, just picking everything up. You know, all of these are black, and all of a sudden I'm just like, what's that one? That one's shiny. <laughs> all right, so I'll play with this one for a little bit. All right, let me do a little research on that pedal. Please hold. What's up, guys? So, the pedal is called the Yellow Spiral Drive, uh, and it's made by Spiral, uh, Spiral Electric Effects, uh, which are handmade pedals by Tom Cram, who is the man behind Digitech and DoD. 
So it sounds like he decided to start his own pedal company. Let's take a look here. Yep. Oh, there's also a white spiral boost. This is... This is the yellow spiral drive. Oh shoot, wow. Yo, these things range from silver, silver burst, silver burst. Oh, it's not in a, it's not in stock right now, but I'm sure he'll make more. Um, yo, they're two ninety nine. So I played around with it for a little bit. It actually is pretty badass. Okay, let me just turn this guy off. I'm good there. All right. So I'm using my uh, Mesa triple rectifier with my 2014 Paul Reed Smith Custom 22 Leprechaun Tooth um, 10 top. And I'm using my Fort and Zool as the noise gate along with the yellow spiral drive. So this is it with the pedal off. absolutely a sick pedal so uh the the, the three toggle switches uh is one two three i have it on three i feel like the one um almost is a little too bassy for me considering that i'm basically using a, a bass master <laughs> with the rectifier uh, so i have that on three i have output at uh three o'clock i have the center knob uh is has like fixed settings so 
you know, if you've ever used the uh, Horizon devices, you know how the drive option literally clicks into, into place. You can't, it's not as smooth where you decide where you want to go. It's literally. Um, so that one, I have it set to the first, so far left. Uh, again, same thing. I just that's just how what I like it as. Right now, I actually have it as which is the girth. So I have the girth at the number one setting, and the gain stage. I actually have it at zero because I wanted to use it at some point as a boost. So that's how I'm using it now. gain at one o'clock now. really like this pedal it's different it's a different flavor um you know so you almost can't compare i don't actually have a pedal that sounds like this one at all and lord only knows i have a bunch um but this one has almost like like if you play black metal um i think it'll be perfect for it if you like a fuzz that's not as fuzz ish something that uh it has a little more clipping in there that um, uh, that has a little more distorted. This is more like what that could potentially be. Um, but it's a sick pedal. So I have to talk to Jordan and be like, yo, what's up, son? You want to sell this shit? What's up? Uh, <laughs> so I have to figure out what's going on. But that thing is absolutely insane. Uh, looking on the company's website, it looks like their pedals sell for $250. Uh, or $299. So it's $249 or $299. Um, but that kind of looks like it's the scaling, uh, the, the, the pay scale or the price scale that they have uh, between those pedals. So if you get the chance, two things. Bother Jordan and just say, yo, what's up with those picks? I hear Louis Lover loves them. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to send him a link to this video. He's going to laugh. Uh, but yo, these picks are sick. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Please hold. Where is it? Ah, it's right here. I haven't used it yet. So it's a really pointy pick. Hold on. <laughs>
I like this pick. Hold on, please hold it, Bell. Uh, and I have to find out what it's made out of, but it's like a see-through material. And uh, I actually really like it a lot. Oh, and it's actually like lasered on there or something, but it's definitely etched into it. The high wind amplification. It's not like a paint job. I mean, there's paint in it, but it's definitely etched in there. All right, everyone. All right, I'm dragging now. Um, so Jordan, you are the man. Yo, guys, if you haven't gone to Jordan's website, it's high wind amplification. Uh, it's the same awesome guy that makes the Dire Wolf pedal along with a bunch of other amazing pedals. Um, so definitely check out uh, what he has to offer. Uh, definitely check out that pedal. Ah, I turned my computer off. Um, so, so definitely go to uh, Mr. Cram's website and check out those pedals. You know, hopefully he'll go ahead and have um, this yellow drive uh, pedal available at some point. Uh, but it looks like he has one called the white drive. So uh, maybe check that one out. All right, guys. Hey, listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right here. Hit the like over here. And much chugging needs to be done. Next video, I'm going to pull out my Randall Staten. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. And as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.